when we joined the forces, we were visa, uh, basic training in Saskatchewan. When we did the basic training in Saskatchewan, uh, when the British people that thought we were Chinese were more important to serve in Southeast Asia than Europe. We were uh, transferred to the British Army. From the British Army, we were arrived in London, England, which had to do our documentation in London, England. At that time, uh, 44 was the, uh, when the German bomb London with the V2 over there. We were over there for about one to two months. I was still more in the, in the demolition uh, exercise than other thing. After that, we do the commentation, they sent us to India. We went through a lot of training like uh, demolition, grenade, weapon training, all those things, uh, commando training, how to kill, how to kill, able to kill, how to survive. And later on, about a couple of months, they were asked us, we have to take jumping, right? So at that time, they have two options, either go by boat into the enemy territory or else by parachute jump. I was sent to a jungle in uh, between Burma and Calcutta. Like the, like the British, uh, they have an officer and an NCO in charge of 15 of us in a group. So in that group, you live together as a family. In, in my group, I have a Gurkhas, um, uh, he's in, the, we see the Gurkhas, we use them for advanced training. So, uh, so like, a, like a scout. And then the East Indian, they do the packing our uh, weapon or, or supply for the, for the day when you go out, uh, you, you don't come back to camp. Those are the except training. Camaraderie is very important. Talk about discrimination. Well, there's no such thing. But we, when I was in the army, to blow the track, you not put the your well, explosive on the outside of the track. You got to put the, your explosive on the inside the track. When the explosive go, it blow both way, right? Those are the things that what what we train over there. At the same time. We have to show how to able to kill. I was in the jungle training with other people, right? So you have to get supply, go back and forth. Well, I was, I was a lucky one pick up to drive my truck down to Pune, the plate Pune. We have to get a supply coming back. That was the monsoon season. And hit the spot spot, rode down the hill three or four times. So you know how on a three-quarter ton, you gotta, uh, you have to pop up the door or whatever, right? Able to get out. So you I- You weren't wearing a seat belt. There's no such thing as seat belt. <laughs> Those days, you know, so I, I kick, kick the door out and then we walk about, oh, good about five miles to back to camp to get help. That was a monsoon season. So by the time we got to camp, get the people together, tell them what happened, the ration was in the truck, right? So we have to come back, there may be 20 of us, come back, get the truck up, and get the ration back to camp. A damage in London, England, that's, that's my memory, really. Never forget. And I never forget the training we went through. <laughs> <laughs>